Okay, so uh, today I want to um, configure my um, ELM327 reader from my OBD2 port on my Dodge Challenger RT. Check it out. <laughs> had this, um, I believe it, I think the first one I bought was in the Camaro, and then I bought more for my Dodges, uh, my uh, Magnum, and uh, my 300, and I used this for uh, code readers and to clear codes, and uh, uh, on my Magnum I had a set of uh, high full cats with uh, straight exhaust and uh, intake, and uh, you know, I had some... Uh, O2 readings about uh, lean codes and everything, so I use this to clear the codes. But on my Dodge Challenger, this being in 2016, already comes with the uh, uh, with the uh, function here, the code reader built in. So you know, once you go in through your menu, you can access those. But uh, since I have uh, my cell phone, usually that's uh, right here on my car. There's always one thing that I keep uh, thinking that's missing from this car and it's the actual RPM reader readout from the uh, 8.4 inch display or the DIC for that matter and uh, I'd like to have it here especially when you want to uh, you know make uh, some adjustment to your uh, your tuning or just you know capture the best uh, Torque and HP figures with your uh, uh, with your display, and you also want to see the peak HP, and which RPM. And for that, it's a little bit harder uh, to have them both uh, look at them both and record them on your uh, on your cluster here. But um, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna try to configure it, see uh, see if it works, and uh, show you the results. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I got this uh, figured out. Uh, but obviously first, this is a Bluetooth device, so you need to pair it with your phone. And once that's done, then you can uh, select the uh, device now in the application. I use uh, Torque, Torque Management. It's free on Android phone. And uh, the advantage, well, you know, once you're plugged into your uh, OBD2 port, uh, you're plugged into the PCM, it means that uh, uh, do some readouts and uh, you can show those readouts and this is the great part about it so look at it now so uh, on top of my engine um, gauge here I have these extra gauge so you can these you can set up as you want I have here the rev the speed coolant temperature the vacuum I also have the throttle response uh, the acceleration you want uh, you also can get those uh, those timers if you want them um, you know you also have all the selections you can choose them to make your default settings uh, in my case you know what I want to do these used to be my settings for but this might be just what I want here the big reps and uh, you can actually uh, uh, you know, set it up the way you want and have multiple pages of uh, of display here so uh, it makes it uh, you know more interesting and uh, if you are to record some of uh, your acceleration or your drag times and you know you can see where where you shift and everything from this uh, display well you have that too so uh, I had this uh, laying around in my uh, in my house for a couple of years so I said I might as well just use it instead this little option is pretty cheap. I think I bought it five bucks on eBay a couple of years ago, and uh, yeah, I mean uh, it's very nice to have, and I intend to use it. And you want to see those results, and you can extract those data as well from uh, if you use another application, let's say um, uh, HD Lap Recorder. You can actually record all the data acquisition from your BD2 and display it on your editing. If you look at my older Camaro videos, you'll see I have all these gauges appearing on uh, each of my uh, videos. Uh, you see you know, anything you want to see, it's there. So uh, that's the fun part about this. And uh, yeah, so thumbs up. All right, so we're going to get this show on the road. 
as you can see here I have a few menus you can select you can uh, you can set up this thing you know the way you want with the uh, the dials the type of dials you want if it's a uh, bar if it's number if it's uh, anything is there I think there's 20 choices so I like to have that as a big old number there to see the RPMs and I'm gonna do a few pulls oh shit mister so uh, the goal I want here is actually to um, to see uh, at which level the car uh, reaches uh, full HP and uh, at which RPM You know, because I think our cars are at the peak RPM at the 5750 RPMs. There's still a lot of power left on the table. You know, from what I've read in some of the forums, a lot of guys, you know, they just tune out the uh, rev limiter to uh, 62, 63, 6400 just to get that uh, free uh, 3, 4, 5 extra RPM, 5 extra 100 RPMs, that is. Get the most out of the uh, the engine so this way when you fall back in the next gear and you see this one you fall back at around 4,000 rpm and you're falling back at uh, 300 uh, low 300 uh, hps and, uh, you're in a good band of torque but you know you're not maximizing the full band of hp torque i think you know uh, pushing this car past uh, Six thousand RPM, probably sixty-one or just just above six, uh, would be the ideal. Uh, and uh, you know, so that's uh, the intention I had today, just to see uh, how it pulls. And uh, from the numbers you see, guys, it's uh, dead on. Yeah.